Welcome back and thanks for still being there. Now, let's take a look at other issues the lawmakers considered in the National Assembly and even outside the National Assembly this week. Senate President Bukola Saraki during the week met with government officials responsible for the welfare of Nigerian students and scholarships abroad. Many of these Nigerian students are stranded abroad because of non-payment of their living allowances and tuition fees by relevant government agencies. The Senate in plenary had asked the Senate President to intervene and know why Nigerian students on scholarships in foreign countries are yet to be paid their scholarship funds. Senator Saraki at the meeting directed the Federal Scholarship Board to urgently present a comprehensive report of all Nigerian students on scholarship abroad and their outstanding entitlements to the relevant committees of the Senate to enable the Senate to make appropriations for their settlement. Based on your calculation, I don't see, for example, why you need over 2.4 billion. Because even if you average it at, at the figures you have done, you can, you can run with less than that. There must be some other things that the chairman and co will look at. But, but the objective, I think what we agree coming out of here, is that you will see with the chairman with the details and we'll try and provide adequate coverage to cover and bring you up to date as that 2017 um, um, December, yes? And clear the, and clear the um, differential of 2016. Meanwhile, a public hearing on some bills took place during the week. The House of Representatives Committee on the Federal Capital Territory considered a bill seeking to provide the Federal Capital Territory Metropolitan Management Council and another bill to establish the FCT Emergency Management Agency. The acting chairman of the committee outlined some of the objectives of the bill. HB 974 aims at regulating land use by controlling and monitoring physical development, ensuring design control and provision of recreational facilities, street naming and house numbering and issuance of permits for advertisement signboards etc etc among others above all it aims at creating an agency that will ensure the functionality and aesthetic qualities of the city a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of federal capital territory fct emergency management agency FEMA, and to formulate policies and guidelines relating to the management of disasters in the fct and for related matters hb 10 the idea of this bill is, to, is born out of realization of prevalent and increasing menace of natural and human disasters all over the world. The minister of the FCT was also present at the event. The FCT Emergency Management Department is one of the departments under the Federal Capital Territory Administration in line with what obtains in other states. The main function of the department is to formulate policies and guidelines relating to the management of disasters in the FCT. In order to strengthen this operation, the FCT administration strongly supports the idea muted by your honorable self of trying to establish an agency by an act of the National Assembly because having a full-fledged agency will provide the part department as it is presently constituted more powers, more capacity, more abilities to be able to cater for disasters that, as we all know, always occur from time to time. The Joint Committee of the Senate and House of Representatives on Aviation are pledging their support for the speedy completion of the new international terminal building of the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja. Speaking in Abuja shortly after inspecting the level of work at the new international terminal building and other facilities of the airport, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Aviation, Senator Adam Alero, announced the completion date of February 2018. He assures officials of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria that the legislature will provide legislative backing for infrastructural development of the airport which is the only one in the nation's capital. The ministry is already aware about um, power and uh, water challenges. And I think they are doing something about it. And once they bring it to the notice of the legislature, we will do the needful. We will give them all the necessary support. Because definitely we need uh, this building to be put into use immediately after completion. So 
uh, there is no point having this building uh, without water and also electricity. They cannot function. Uh, so we will give all the support they require.